We'd like to introduce you to the Varroa mite. Well, to be precise, we'd like to introduce you to millions of Varroa mites. Why so many? Well, when it comes to the Varroa mite, there's no such thing as just one. And if you'd like to see how an infestation starts, you need to look no further than your own bees, especially drones, as they're pretty social and like to travel between hives. Since Varroa mites don't have any wings of their own, they slip into hives by hitching a ride on the backs of adult bees. And for the lucky mite, the trip includes an in-flight meal, as Varroa mites will begin feeding on bee blood within a few minutes of clinging to the bee. Once they've entered the hive, Varroa mites slip undetected into the vulnerable, uncapped brood cells. This is where the mites lay in wait until the bees cap the brood. Once a cell is capped, the mother mite, like a tiny vampire, climbs atop the cocoon of the developing bee, tears open a hole, and begins to feed on its blood. Within three days, the mother mite lays her first egg, which always develops into a male. Then, she lays one female egg every 30 hours over the next week or so in her newly acquired home under the brood cap. And as each of these female mites mature, they mate with their brother. By the time the baby bee develops and leaves its infested cell, as many as three fertilized mites will emerge with it, and the cycle continues. Using this strategy, the Varroa mite population can grow as fast as the bee population it feeds on. But when summer ends and the bee population declines, the hive is left with a huge mite population, and that's dangerous. Too many mites in a hive will overwhelm and kill entire bee colonies. So what does that mean for everyone's favorite insect, the honeybee? Well, honeybee colonies with heavy mite infestations can't effectively pollinate or produce honey because they suffer from diseases and viruses transmitted by the mites. In fact, honeybees suffer from as many as 20 different mite-induced viruses, including the devastating deformed wing virus, which prevents them from flying. If you want to give your honeybees a fighting chance against Varroa mites, it's time to introduce your bees to Max. With as little as two treatments annually, you can put a stop to the horror story playing out inside your brood box. Apply a spring treatment to protect bees for the honey flow and another in the early fall, so the cluster is healthy and strong going into winter. Max kills mites where they reproduce, under the brood cap. And regular use of Max will protect your colonies year-round. To learn more about Max, the certified organic Varroa mite treatment, watch the Max application video here. Connect with Nod and beekeepers around the world by following us on Twitter and Facebook.